Now just a refresher, we're here to talk about Fibonacci's and the Fibonacci sequence. Now it is a man-made mathematical equation in which we use to identify highs and lows of wave movements. From that information, we're going to look to buy, we're going to look to sell, we're going to look to place our stops and our limits. So without further ado, let's get going. Alright everyone, in front of us is our MTI 4.0 charting software. And this is what I use and all of our students use to analyze the foreign exchange as well as to utilize the Fibonacci tool. So let's go ahead and take a look. In front of us we have the Euro US dollar weekly time frame. And one of the neat things about the Forex market is it does the same things over and over and over again. Now what I mean by that is this. Take a look how this market on the Euro US dollar is bouncing between this bottom blue line and is bouncing between this top blue line. Well, the neat thing about the forks is it's not just going to move in a straight line in between these two lines, it's going to move in waves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trace over the, the original market movement and just show you how the market's making lower lows and lower highs on the way down and higher highs and higher lows on the way up. Now, this is very important to understand that the market is going to maintain its wave movement because that's what it's been doing since inception. Think about it. If you buy low, that's going to cause the market to go up. And if you sell high, it's going to cause the market to go down. Well, thousands of individuals are doing this throughout the day and throughout the weeks and throughout the months and throughout the years, and it causes wave movements. With that wave movement, we're going to bring in our Fibonacci now. Now, one of the things I like to do is make sure that I don't have too much analysis on the screen uh, that can cause temporary trading paralysis. So I'm going to zoom in, back this up, and we're going to go to around 2010 to kind of describe and show you the consistency of how Fibonacci's work. Now, the very first thing I want you to take a look at your screen now is the following. The market was making lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. That's what it was doing. Now the market is starting to make higher highs and higher lows. Fibonacci allows us to identify the lows as well as the next very high and an uptrend. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to spread Fibonacci's from this low to this high. And right away, I want you to see that we have five horizontal lines between this low and this high. Now, these are called Fibonacci retracements. You have the 0.382, the 0.50, the 0.618 the 0.786 and the 0.86 retracement. Now above this high, you have the extensions of the 1.18, the 1.27, and the 1.618. Now for those of you who are saying, hey, you know what? The actual uh, numbers itself are confusing me. Don't worry about that because look at your screen. If you can see these three red lines of the 382, 50, and the 618, and take a look at this red line, the 1.618, red goes to red. Let me show you what I mean. Now, because the market moves in waves and likes to make higher highs and higher lows, if the market forms a low higher than the previous low within these three red lines, we should expect the market to come all the way up and form a high at this previous, at the 1.618D extension red line. But if the market retraces even deeper and forms a low at the blue line or the 0.786 retracement, we'll expect the market to come up and form a high at this 1.27D extension. And if the market falls down even deeper and forms a low higher than the previous low at the green level, well you guessed it, green goes to green, expect the market to come up to form a high at this green level. Let me show you what it looks like inside the actual live market. So in front of us, what we're trying to do is trying to identify the low higher than the previous low. We do that with candlestick formations. Now what I mean by that is this. This long wick towards the south indicates that, hey, you know what? There are more buyers into the market. It's a really good idea to start buying or entering in long. What this will let you do is it will let you begin to identify the potential low by using the candlestick formation. Now because we formed a low at the 0.50 or the red era, expect the market to come all the way up here to this red line of the 1.618D extension. Now what's neat about Fibonacci is that you, you can place your stop below the previous low. Those of you who do not know what that is, basically if the market is to take out the previous low, that means you have to close out of the market, which means the market is no longer going your way. But as long as the market doesn't take out the previous low, you're good to go. So let's see what happens. 
the market begins to go up, all the buyers in the world are buying this market. And watch how this market finally fulfills the 1.618D extension. And if what I'm showing you truly does work and the Fibonacci's really give you a huge benefit, the market should be in a retrace and pull back. Does everybody see how the market retraced and all the sellers entered into the market and all the buyers closed out? Well, the neat thing about Fibonacci's is they allow you to maximize your profit potential with identifying the lows and the highs. We're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing, and we're going to teach you how to um, move your Fibonacci's and ABCDs as the market maintains its wave movement. Watch how this market begins to retrace. Watch how this market begins to pull back, hits this blue level of the 0.786, and forms what's called a piercing line. Now this is a candlestick formation which tells you, hey Mr. Trader, Mrs. Trader, time to get in long. This is where you want to look to buy. When you enter the market buying long or going up, well, green, excuse me, blue, goes to blue, the 0.786 retracement will extend to the 1.27. So all we're going to look to do is buy this market on the way up. Watch how this market begins to travel upwards and it continues and maintains its upward movement until the market fulfills its 1.27D its, its 1 extension. Now the neat thing about Fibonacci's is they work the same way when the market goes up as when the market goes down. So if you take a look at your screen, you can begin to see that, hey, you know what? The market's at the top of this trading range. We are no longer expecting the market to continue to go up. It's time to look for the market to fall down. So what we're going to do is we're going to anticipate the trend to reverse. Now, like I said, Fibonacci's work the same way on the way down as they do on the way up. We are anticipating and expecting this market to make lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. When it does this, we're going to look to sell these highs and buy these lows according to the Fibonacci movement. So let's go ahead and take a look. We spread our Fibonacci's from this high to this low. The market begins to pull back, forms what's called a forms what's called a dark cloud, a candlestick formation, telling you, hey, Mr. Trader, time to sell me at the 0.618 retracement or the red line, letting you know the market's going to fall down to this 1.618 red line D extension. Watch how the market begins to fall. Now, when the market falls and hits this level. If you're selling, you got to get out. You got to close out because the buyers are about to take control. Watch what happens. Look how the buyers begin to take control and the market comes completely up. The neat thing about Fibonacci's is they work, they work, they work. They're so darn consistent. As long as the market doesn't take out the previous high, you're good to go. Now the market pulls back, forms a high lower than the previous high. This gives us an engulfing bearish candlestick. We sell the market. The market formed a high at the 0.618 retracement, which is the red level, which means the market should extend to the 1.618D extension, the red level down here. Red goes to red. Now, all I'm saying is the market should continue to fall. It's going to make lower lows and lower highs. And when it does, it's going to fulfill our green level, which represents the 1.618D extension. And when it does, that's when you buy. Basically, what I'm saying here is you're done selling time to start buying and if what I'm showing you really does work watch how this market goes up now the neat thing about Fibonacci's is they're so darn consistent they work on multiple currency pairs and multiple time frames like I said in the very beginning it's a man-made mathematical equation which the professional forex investors use now we take a look at the here and now movement the market has come up formed a high pulls back forms what we call a morning star which means, hey, Mr. Trader, Mrs. Trader, time to buy me. Forms it at the 0.382. Expect the market to go to the 1.618. We look at the here and now market movement. Look how this market is making higher highs and higher lows. And here we are, just shy of the 1.618D extension. If we were to look to buy this market, there's 323 pips to be had. At a standard line investment, that's an additional 3,000 US dollars. It should only take about four weeks. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this presentation on Fibonacci's. If you're anything like me, you probably became very curious and you want to know a little bit more regarding the Forex. If you want to know the inside secrets of the tools and techniques of how a professional Forex investor approaches this market, go ahead and launch the interactive webinar on this page and I'll see you in the next presentation.